Hi guys, let's configure JPEO peripheral without using HAL libraries, so I'm going to create a new project for that. So we have Nikloe L4 1KB. So finally we have this graphical tool, but, but as I said we will not use it, we will go directly to the files. So we have this main.c file, we have this, uh, f these functions, but let's create a new function. I call it gpio initialize, so this is just a declaration of the function. Let's define the function here. Next, I want to show CMC's uh, libraries. So we have these files. So let's open this file. If we search for GPA, we have this definition of GPA. And we have this struct. So if we see the definition of the struct, you can see these members of this struct that match the, the registers of GPAO port. So if we need GPAO A, we just write GPAO A, then we can access to different members of this. Uh, struct or in other words we can access to to the registers so we need this register so first of all we have to configure pin 10 and pin 9 as uh, in, as an output pins so we have to write 0101 0, 1. so let's comment it Uh, in, in the previous video I showed how to uh, write 0101 to these bits without affecting the value of other uh, other other bits. Uh, we will do in a similar way but I want to configure each pin separately. So first of all I want to reset these two bits. So for that we use of course uh, n bitwise operator. So before we reset all these four uh, bits, but in this case I want to reset first these two bits. So I have just a 0B11, then I shift by 18 bits, and instead of this I can write 0X3. Then, then I want to set this bit, and for that, of course, we have to use OR bitwise operator, and we don't need ONE's complement. So we have just a one bit. So I write the hex version of it, and we shift by eighteen bytes bits. So let's do the same trick for pin ten. So we have to reset these two bits, and we have the same, but instead of 18, of course, we have to write 20. Also, we have GPAO B, pin 7, so I want to configure this pin uh, as, a, as an input pin. For that, I have to write 0, 0 to the corresponding bits. In other words, I just need to reset the values. So I can copy this and paste it here, and instead of A, we have B. And instead of 20, we have 14. Next step is to connect pull up resistor to, to, to this input pin. So we go back to the register. So let's find this register. So we have the following register which is called PUPDR. 
so if we open this register the definition of this register you see we need to write 01 to connect pull up register to these pins because we need pin 7 so as we did before we, we first reset these bits then I set the value of this pin okay so I, so we have we write the same expression by the way so we, we set these bits then I have to set one bit so I, instead of three I have just a one okay but I write with the hex number then we have to shift by 14 bits okay because we need this bit So if we scroll down, we can find this function, which is responsible for uh, configuring uh, pins. And as you see, we have these lines at the beginning. GPA port clock enable. Basically, within the microcontroller, we have a clock. If we don't enable clock in to 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 a peripheral, it will not work. That's why we have to connect clock to the peripheral that we need or in other words we have to enable clock so in order to do that let's go back to the reference manual then we have this uh, chapter reset and clock control so let's open the registers of this peripheral so if we scroll down we can find this uh, register which is called HP2NR and if we look at these pins you see they are responsible for enabling clock in different ports so we need port A and port B so we have to set these two bits in this register so let's do that here at the beginning so we have RCC so this uh, um, struct was defined in uh, CMC's libraries. So again, we don't need to bother about the address of the register. So we need this register. So we have to set the bit. So we use or bitwise operator. So we have two bits. So instead of that, again I write the hex version of it and also as you might notice we don't need to use left shift operator because we need less two significant uh, bits so we just keep it as it is okay so we finally finished configuring pins so let's use this function within within main, main function so I'll write it here before proceeding further I want to do one more modification if we look at our code we used these numbers but it's not the best practice to uh, to use constant numbers when writing a code it's better to define some constant variables and they and the, it's better to use these constant variables the name of the constant uh, definitions so what I'm going to do I'm going to open uh, main function main that h function of all projects so we have uh, so if we open the previous project we had these definitions this defines so I'm going to paste it here so we have LED 1, LED 2 then instead of pin I'm going to put position so we have position 7 
So instead of uh, these um, numbers, I want I'm going to use these user friendly names. So we have um, LED one control pin. So let me close these files. We don't need this anymore. So we have LED two control port. So instead of GPA, I'm going to use this name. Then we have this position. So as you might notice, we have to multiply this position by two to get the correct position of the bits uh, because uh, if you look uh, for each pin we have two bits that's why we have to multiply the, the pin by two in order to get the correct position because for instance here we have bits uh, for pin 9 and it starts from 18 which is equal to 9 multiplied by 2 so I'm going to use this name, but I will multiply it by 2. So um, let's open main.c file of the previous project. So basically we have to write this part of the code but without using hard libraries. So first of all we have to check the, st the state of the input pin. So let's go back to the registers. So if we scroll down you can find the following register which is called IDR input data register. This uh, register contains the input value of the corresponding input output ports. So basically we have to read this uh, bit of this register. So let's do that here. So we have if statement if GPAO B IDR. So we have this um, uh, register IDR, but we need to get the value of this specific bit, whether it is uh, 0 or 1. We have to check that. And to do that, again, we can use end bitwise operator. So if we do, let's say, end bitwise operator between this value. The value of the register and the and the zeros. Okay, as an output we get zeros. Okay, but if we keep one of these bits as a one, we'll get the value of of this bit. Okay, so we just need to set one uh, to to this bit, uh, seven bit. So instead of that, again, we can use just a 0x1 left shift operator by 7. So if this is not 0, if this expression is not 0, we need to reset the value of LED2. So if this is not 0, we, we reset the value of uh, LED to control pin. So we have GPU A. So let's check the the register, the reference manual one more time. So if we scroll down, we we can find this register that which is responsible for setting and resetting the pins. This register is separated into two parts. So first lower part is responsible for uh, setting the corresponding output pin. Upper part is used to, to reset 
the corresponding output pin. Okay, so let's use this register. So we have BSRR. So for setting, so to reset, for instance, to reset pin 10, for instance, we have to set this value, which is uh, 26 uh, bit. So we use our bitwise operator, then we have 1 shifted by 26. Okay. Else, we'll do the same thing, but instead of this pin, we have to set this pin, which is pin 10. Okay, basically we finish it writing our code, but again I want to replace these numbers uh, by this uh, defines that that we defined before. So for this, we just need to add. 16 to get the appropriate um, bit in this register. We we are ready to check our code, with, but before that, I want to ask you to do one more thing. Just open this um, IUC file, and you can see these um, two pins. So in in our board, by default, they are connected to clocks. So we have to reset this state. So, we will not have any problem with that. So, save it and it will ask to generate code. Press yes. And as I, as I told you, uh, is it really important to write our code uh, bef uh, between these kind of comments? Because if we do that outside of these comments, this, uh, the, the code will be erased when we when the code will be generated after saving this file. So um, finally we have everything so let's debug our code. If you're running first time there might be a window in any case just press debug. Okay so re we will resume and if we press the button you should have to see white light.